This brand new YouTube niche is pulling in millions of views right now by posting simple AI videos, just like the one you're seeing on screen. Channels are generating thousands of dollars a month turning zodiac signs into terrifying villains. But here's the problem. Thousands of people are trying this and getting zero views because their AI images look generic and inconsistent. They're completely missing the secret sauce. In this video, I'm going to reveal the exact five-step blueprint these viral channels are using. I'll give you the AI tool, the step-by-step -step process, and most importantly, the secret prompt formula that makes these images so dark and captivating. So, I have a challenge for you. Don't just watch this for a cheap dopamine hit and then click away to the next video. I'm challenging you to actually follow along and create your first villain image with me right now. Let's get to work. The process starts exactly where it always does, inside ChatGPT. This is where we will lay the foundation for our entire video by generating the core concepts for our characters. This step is critical. Go ahead and open ChatGPT. We need to give it a very specific job to generate 12 unique and compelling villain concepts, one for each sign of the Zodiac. Paste in the first prompt from the Google Doc linked in the description. This prompt instructs ChatGPT to create a detailed profile for each of the 12 Zodiac signs reimagined as a dark fantasy villain. Each profile needs to include a unique villain name, a detailed description of their costume and armor, a specific color scheme that reflects their sign, and a short, powerful backstory that gives them depth and motivation. You want these to feel like they were ripped straight from a blockbuster movie or a high-budget video game. Hit enter and let the AI work. You will see it start to generate these incredible concepts. You might get Ares as a fiery, demonic warlord clad in scorched metal and volcanic rock, or Pisces as an abyssal sea witch who commands the haunted depths. Read through the list it provides. Once you have a list of 12 villain concepts that you are excited about, it is time to move to the next phase and prepare them for the visual generation. Still inside ChatGPT, we need to give the AI its second job. We are going to ask it to translate each of those villain backstories and descriptions into a highly detailed image prompt that is specifically engineered for an AI art generator like Leonardo AI. Paste in the next prompt from the Google Doc. This prompt tells ChatGPT to take each of the 12 villain profiles and convert them into a descriptive paragraph that focuses entirely on the visual elements. Once you have run this prompt for all 12 signs, you will have 12 master prompts ready for our visual generator. Now it is time to bring these dark visions to life. We are heading over to Leonardo.ai, which is my go-to tool for creating insane high-quality images. Once you have logged in, there are a few very important settings we need to configure to ensure our images have that viral cinematic quality. First, and most importantly, we need to change the generation model. Find the model selection dropdown and choose Leonardo Phoenix. This model is unbelievably good for creating detailed, dramatic, and polished character designs. Next, you want to crank the generation quality up to the highest available setting. We are prioritizing quality over speed here. Finally, you need to set the correct image dimensions. Click on More or the Advanced Options for Image Dimensions and select the TikTok ratio, which is 1080 by 1920. This ensures our visuals will be perfectly formatted for vertical content without any need for cropping or resizing later. With the settings locked in, go back to your ChatGPT window, copy the very first detailed image prompt for your first Zodiac villain, let's say Ares, and paste it directly into the prompt box in Leonardo. Hit generate. You will see a character design that looks like it could be on a movie poster. Once the first image is ready, take a moment to review it critically. Repeat this process for all 12 of your characters, one by one. Copy the prompt from ChatGPT, paste it into Leonardo, and hit generate. Once you have generated all 12 villain images and are happy with the results, it is time to bring them to life with motion. Static images are good, but they will not go viral on their own. We need to add subtle cinematic movement to make them feel more immersive and professional. For this, we are going to use a powerful tool called Klinged AI. With your 12 images saved from Leonardo, head over to Klinged AI. Once you are on the dashboard, find the video generation tab and start by uploading your first villain image. Once the image is uploaded, you will see a prompt box where you can describe the movement you want. This is where you act as the cameraman. Kling will analyze the image and the prompt and generate a short animated video clip. When the clip is ready, review it carefully. The goal here is smooth, subtle, and realistic movement. It should feel like you are really there, in the scene with the character. Then, move on to the next villain. 
Repeat this process for all 12 of your images. Upload the image to Kling, write a unique motion prompt for each one, and generate the clip. By the end of this process, you will have 12 short, cinematic video clips that tell the story of your Zodiac villains. Now, before we get into the final and most important step of editing, let me be very direct with you. If you are serious about turning this kind of AI content into a real, sustainable income stream, you need to be inside my private community. Inside, I break down everything. I show you the exact automation workflows I use, the monetization strategies that are working right now, and the tools and prompts that keep you ahead of the trends. You get one-on-one -on -one support, direct feedback on your content, and access to a growing library of untapped high-profit niches that you will not find anywhere else. If you are ready to stop guessing and start building a real content business, the link to join is in the Google Doc in the description. Okay, this is the final step. Get this right, and your video will look 10 times more professional than 99% of the competition. Once all your animated clips from Kling are saved, it is time for the final edit. We are going to use CapCut to assemble everything. Open CapCut and import all 12 of your animated video files. Drag them onto your timeline in the order you want them to appear, from Aries to Pisces. With the clips on the timeline, the first thing we will do is add smooth transitions between them. Go to the Transitions tab in CapCut. Find a transition that fits the dark, cinematic feel, something like a flash or a blur light. Drag that transition and place it between each of your clips on the timeline. Then, on the right-hand side, set the duration of the transition to a snappy 0.2 seconds. This keeps the pacing fast and engaging. Hit the Apply to All button to add this transition between every single video clip. Next, we need to add a final layer of atmosphere to make the video look truly professional. Go to the Effects tab, search for an effect like black noise or a subtle grain effect and drag it over your entire timeline. This adds a subtle gritty texture that gives your video a film-like quality, making it feel more high-end and captivating to watch. Now for the final touch, the color grade. Click on the Adjust panel and create a custom adjustment layer that stretches across the entire video. On the right side, you are going to make two small but powerful changes. First, increase the saturation to about plus 10. This will make the colors in your villain's armor and the environments pop, making them more vivid. Second, scroll down and increase the vignette to about plus 10. This will subtly darken the edges of the frame, drawing the viewer's eye to the center and making the entire scene feel more focused and cinematic. Once everything is in place, do a final preview of the entire video. When you are happy with it, click export and save your final video file. Join my community if you want to go viral. That is all for today's video. Bye.